Hi, it's Gary again, and I have two lemons here. One is from my local grocery store, and the other is from my lemon tree. Can you tell which one it is? It's this one. And right now, during the winter months, I keep my citrus trees down in the basement. I have a Eureka lemon and a Tangelo. During the winter right now, I keep my trees down in the basement. For obvious reasons, I'm up here in the north in Michigan. And during January and February, my trees started to bloom profusely. Now normally citrus start to bloom late fall and into the winter down in Florida, and they're usually finished by about January. The reason for this is that citrus trees need certain temperatures in order to initiate flowering. They like to be below 68 degrees for between 15 and 19 days. We normally uh, call that chilling hours and for uh, citrus it's between 350 and 450 hours, which comes out to 15 to 19 days. Also drought stress, in other words, allowing the trees to dry out and only watering them when the top inch of the soil has dried out will also help to initiate flowering. Here in the north, we don't have any problems getting those low temperatures. We can leave the trees out in September and maybe into the early part of October where we can get those temperatures below 60s and actually the tree can handle temperatures down in the 40s. Then you want to bring them in and you certainly don't want to expose them to freezing temperatures, which is something that we get in October in Michigan. The trees also prefer a relative humidity of about 50%, which again, in a place like Michigan is not a problem. And in my basement, it tends to be a little bit higher in humidity there, so I'm pretty much covered. Now, this was the first year that I had prolific blooms. Usually there's a juvenility period with citrus trees, and I've had this lemon tree for about two to three years. And because it was exposed to the ideal temperatures and it was allowed to dry out, uh, or stay on the dry side in terms of watering, it just produced many, many flowers. Now, of course, during the winter months, pollination becomes an issue. And what I use is a simple Q-tip, and I would brush the stamens, which is the male part of the flower, toward the stigma, which is the female part of the flower, until it was kind of covered uh, when it's yellow. The yellow color is due to the pollen being deposited onto the stigma. Now the stigmas are receptive to pollen as long as the stigma is sticky. So what I try to do is I would pollinate on a particular day and then I would come back and pollinate for a couple of days to be sure that the fruit was well pollinated and I got fruit set. And as you can see, uh, I have young lemons all over the tree from hand pollinating. Now if my tree had been outside uh, in the fall and it was starting to bloom, the bees would have taken care of that problem for me. So you're probably wondering, how long does it take between when you have pollination and getting a mature fruit? Well, that depends on what reference you want to read, but the most it's going to take is about a year. That's under less than ideal conditions, which I would consider Michigan less than ideal conditions. But a lot of other references would say four to six months. And if you time your flower period right, and you're putting your trees out during the summer months, then you're going to have some really nice conditions and it may not take the whole 12 months. Other references said around nine months. So I'm shooting more for the nine to 12 month period, uh, considering where we live. But I've only had one uh, lemon so far and that took about nine months. Now, once they're mature, they'll turn from green to this nice yellow lemon color and they'll hold on the tree for a couple of weeks. If you would like to get good quality fruit, one of the things that you have to remember is that the tree will need to be fertilized and citrus trees should be fertilized two to three times a year. And the time of year when it's really using a lot of nutrients is during the flowering period. So you should put on one of your applications, maybe a little bit more than a third uh, during the flowering period. And then you can flower a couple more times during the summer and then in the fall, which the plant doesn't require as much fertilizer during those times. And the analysis I'm using, I picked up this little bag of fertilizer on uh, Amazon. It's for citrus trees and it's a 1266, so twice as much nitrogen as with the phosphorus and potassium. 
course, while these lemons are actively growing, they're going to need to be watered because up here in the north, I'm growing mine in a pot. So a pot using a citrus soil mix is going to dry out pretty quickly. So I may need to water every other day, maybe even every day, depending on how wet the soil gets down deeper. But you should check down at least an inch because we water once the top inch dries out. And of course, fruit is primarily water. So you want to be sure that you're giving it a good drink of water when you do water. And what I like to do is put enough water in the pot so that it drains out of the bottom. So stay tuned. I'm really excited this year because this will be the first time I'll have a full crop of lemons. This is Gary. I'll talk to you later. Bye.